milady. Today we are going to review uh, Mountain Dew Voltage. Um, this is the third review I've uh, done today <coughs> in a row. So I'm already suffering from uh, a quickened heart rate, heart palpitation, stuff like that. Uh, <coughs> if I swallow any voltage, I'm probably going to uh, die of a heart attack. I've drinking about uh, six servings of Mountain Dew so far. So uh, that's very unhealthy. According to this, that's about um, 170 times six. That's uh, 1,080 calories, I guess. Whatever. I, I think my math's good. I'm a math. Ma I'm a math magician, not just a mathematician. As you can see, I've improved the shell by getting rid of my uh, stupid cup, but because I wasn't even stinking using it. <coughs> the stinging dogs weren't either. Um, let's see. Let's lift off the stupid. Uh, rating system I have uh, taste labeling nutrition belchage and aura I finally got that right after three tries made it on the first try failed on the second try uh, finally got it right this time got them all perfect no no problem with that um, the labeling for this BAM Bam, there's one for the thumbnail. Bam, bam, kapow. Look at that thunder strike. Boy, I remember when Voltage first came out. I didn't care. Now I do, though. Um, this is Mountain Dew Voltage. Dew, charged with raspberry, citrus flavor, and ginseng. At least it says it's citrus flavored on this. On Code Red and Original Mountain Dew, it doesn't even say it's citrus flavored or lemon lime flavored or whatever it's stinking is. Apparently, it's orange flavored. On the back, it all they on, on the back of all of the Mountain Dew flavors, they all say that they have uh, orange extract or something weird on it. This one doesn't for some reason. So this is rare raspberry flavored and has some ginseng in it, compared to Code Red, which has. Um, which has cherry and no ginseng. What a ripoff. I want some ginseng in my Code Red. <coughs> it's also blue flavored, which gives it the, um, the benefit of not looking like a heart attack in a bottle. Mmm. Shocking. Shocking. As you could probably tell, I've already drinking some of this beforehand. Some other people also had some, so that probably has messed with the table, table, ta that the flavor a lot. Because you know, if a total loser drinks Mountain Dew from the bottle, then then it just doesn't taste as good. Oh wait, I'm a total loser. I guess no Mountain Dew I ever drink is gonna taste. I'm not sure if you can hear that. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but there's like a dying bird or something in the over other yard, and I really want it to just finish dying so I can get on with my life. It's not having a very good time. I would help it, but it's like two yards away, and I'm scared of my neighbors that they'd hurt me or something, so I'm not gonna go near it. It also sounds like some kind of weird raptor or something. So that's also pretty scary. Might kill me. My neighbors are starting to be active. I thought it was early in the morning, but apparently it's ripe for, for neighbors to wake up and ruin our good time, but I won't let that happen. Yeah. It really does taste blue. You can really taste the blue flavor. Oh, there's the bird. He's perfectly fine. I'm glad he's not dead, but... What a jerk, right? He was just ruining everything earlier. Um, I'd rate it the same as Code Red on a flavor. Gets a 6 out of 10. 
Um, six out of ten. Five out of ten being the baseline, which is normal Mountain Dew. So it tastes better than normal Mountain Dew because it has that added kick of flavor when you're really craving that raspberry blueness gin with ginseng and other natural flavors. So the taste gets a six out of ten. The labeling, <clears throat> since it says citrus flavor and raspberry, and it doesn't have all that annoying stuff, it just has voltage lightning. As lightning, I'll give it a, a seven out of ten. Compared to Code Red, which is looks like looks like it looks like a heart attack. Code Red looks like a heart attack. Blue looks like yeah, it's normal. It's pretty normal. Seven out of ten. Mountain Dew is pretty boring. They changed the label and made it cruddy for some reason. So that gets a 5 out of 10. Oh look, the sun's coming up. Ow, my eyes. Please stop. That's why I wear sunglasses. Well, one of the reasons. The other is that they make me look extremely sexy. Not to you, to myself. You know, just, just to myself and my pets. My pets have complimented me before on my stunning looks with my glasses and my various hats. Milady. Or I could also do spare some change, or I, or I could also do fill me up, Captain, and just fill it full of Mountain Dew. <coughs> it tastes better when drinking out of a fedora, I'll tell you what. I didn't actually pour any in there because. This is my only fedora, other, 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 otherwise I would have definitely... Also, I don't think it's machine washable, which makes it a little hard to, to wash. It rains too much in my neighborhood. It's really cruddy how much it rains. It like rains every single five seconds, so the ground's always wet. I enjoy rain, but I don't enjoy the, the after effects of rain where it's all like wet everywhere. Ugh. Why can't we just have a dry rain for once? The rain like cools everything off and makes it nice. But then it like makes everything wet and cruddy. All over the ground is wet and you get dirt stuck on your foot, mud. Oh, it's labeling seven out of 10, <coughs> taste six out of 10. Raspberry is actually my favorite flavor in the entire world. So, I can tell this doesn't taste very raspberry e at all. It, it, it tastes very artificial. But so it is all Mountain Dew. It has natural flavor natural flavors in all of them. Wait, it says do charge with raspberry citrus flavor and ginseng with other natural flavors. So the ginseng, raspberry, and citrus can all be artificial and they, they could they just lie on the package. Uh, uh, I'll give, it has about the same uh, nutritional benefits as normal Mountain Dew, so it gets a 5 out of 10. Same terrible carb, sodium, sugars. 15% of your daily carbs, 3% of your daily sodium, 46 grams of sugar. Shut up. Oh, this is w weird. The birds are being really annoying today. Belchage is pretty good on this. This actually has 55 milligrams of caffeine in it per 12 fluid, ounce, fluid ounces. When a normal, um, when Code Red and uh, <clears throat> the normal Mountain Dew actually had 52. So I find it odd that they'd add an extra three milligrams of caffeine. They must really know what they're doing if they're micromanaging their caffeine content that much. Maybe just a worker tripped and spilled an extra bag of caffeine into it and you know like oops better better change the label so the taste gets a f 6 out of 10 better than normal Mountain Dew the same as Code Red it gets a 5 out of t uh, six, 7 out of 10 for labeling 6 out of 10 for taste 
7 out of 10, 10 for labeling. Um, 4 out of 10 for belchage, because I belched once at least. It was a good belch. However, normal Mountain Dew apparently makes you belch much more. <coughs> um, what were the other things? Taste. Oh, nutrition. Nutrition, it gets a 5 out of 10. And aura. Aura is the overall feel of a beverage. How it how it naturally makes you feel when looking at it, the labeling everything combined, how, the, the no, normal aura of a, so, uh, <coughs> Mountain Dew is normally uh, for esports gamers, even esports guys, even though for some reason they uh, try to, all their advertisements have like, pro skaters, totally gnarly bra, and, and pro e export stuff on it. it it's, uh, the only esports people drink it, only like, casual, in, 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 professional gamers drink it because <clears throat> exports doers are just too healthy for this this garbage so, so I don't know where their money's going in their stupid product placement what is that monkey pug baby monkey pug baby what even is that what kind of marketing campaign is that it's like uh, Dude, what, what's a relatable, what's a relatable mascot to the kids? Oh, I know. A monkey pug baby. What is that? Like a combination between a baby monkey and a pig? That sounds absolutely horrifying. No, man, it's totally cool. You know how we like, like appealing to exports people, even though we are supposed, to, we, we're our main audience is esports people? Yeah, I know that. Well, well, would doesn't it make just as much sense to use a monkey pug baby instead of appealing to an incorrect audience? Yeah, that makes a total amount of sense. We should have the monkey pug baby doing export extreme sports. Yeah, dude, that's a really good idea. I'm glad we had this talk. Yeah, let's change the entire marketing campaign, monkey pig baby. Actually, can we change the monkey pug baby to uh? Brank Swing Football? Yeah, that's a totally good idea. Brank Swing Football? It can be a branch and a swing and a football combined as one. It makes about as much a sense. Yeah, it totally does. You know how a gecko has a gecko? Well, if we combine three animals at once, it'll be three times as good. That will And we'll save 15% or more on our marketing phase or something. Yeah, that makes so much sense. That sentence that just came out of your mouth makes so much sense. Almost as much as that bird dying over in another bank. Or it makes sense. Maybe my neighbors are just making chicken stew and murdering a chicken for some reason. Because they're insane. All of my neighbors are insane. I saw one of them once get a turtle from the side of the road and make turtle soup with it. I'm like... Oh, 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 okay, yeah, they have a parrot, and for some reason the parrot's just freaking out. That's what's going on. They have it in a cage, and they own a parrot, and it's just freaking out right now because they, like, let it, like, see a dog or something. Yeah, that's what's going on. That's definitely what's going on. There's no problems. There's no dying bird. Don't worry. I already rated everything on this. Why are you still here? Leave. Good day.